there is one trait that will help you achieve your goals in life more than anything else, it certainly is. Confidence. Being confident will turn your dating life into a smooth ride. It will drastically increase your chances at job interviews or during business deals. But most importantly, it is crucial to your overall sense of well-being and quality in life. Imagine that no matter what happens, you never stop believing in yourself. This will improve your life more than you can possibly imagine. In this video, I will give you five things that will multiply your confidence. But before we get into it, please leave a like and hit that subscribe button. Thanks, brother. I appreciate it. Now let's get started. Number one, always keep improving. This is the place where all confidence is born. If you do not use and develop the gifts that you have been given by God himself, you should not be surprised that your confidence is non-existent. When you know inside your own mind that you are doing more than 99% of people in order to improve yourself physically, mentally, and financially, it gives you a deep inner sense of self-worth and confidence. It is just like the saying goes, today I will do what others won't, so tomorrow I can do what others can't. That is a very powerful statement and it holds true. Being willing to put yourself through more pain and suffering than other people means that you are tougher and stronger than other people. They know it and you know it. That is where the confidence stems from. So stay on the path of self-improvement. Number two, body language. If you are confident, it will most likely manifest itself in the way you carry yourself, the way you sit, the way you stand, the way you walk, the way you talk. This is no secret. But did you know that this also works in reverse? If you make a conscious effort to adjust your body language in order to exude more confidence, it does not only make you appear more confident, it actually makes you more confident. It is just the same as smiling. You don't always need to feel happy in order to smile. Sometimes you just need to smile in order to feel happy. Remember that one as well. But mastering masculine body language is all about taking up more space, being open and not shielding yourself from the world, for example, by crossing your arms, keeping your chin up and looking straight ahead. I made a whole video about body language that I highly recommend you to watch. I will put a link in the description. Number three, more options. As soon as you are lacking options, you will find yourself becoming desperate, having no other options then the one that is presented to you means that you are locked. And this does not breed confidence. This is also one of the reasons that some women will start to disrespect their man or even cheat on him. She knows that she can act like she wants because he does not have any other options. This gives her leverage over him. This makes him weak and therefore makes him lack confidence. But if you are a man, who is desired by many females, you will not allow your woman to disrespect you because you could just replace her. You know it and she knows it. This gives you a huge boost of confidence and it makes her respect you. Having options is not only about dating, it also applies to business. If you are negotiating a deal, having options gives you the upper hand. If you are not happy with the offer, you can simply move on to the next and this gives you power and confidence. Number four, win. I have previously talked about how winning boosts a man's testosterone levels. You need to use this to your advantage. Testosterone levels are very closely linked with your confidence. The higher your testosterone levels, the more confident you will be. But winning also just boosts your confidence on its own. A big part of being confident is knowing that you are good at something. And if you are winning, it must mean that you are good at this particular thing, maybe even the best. Now it does not really matter in which area of life you are winning. It could be in sports, it could be in dating, it could be at the workplace. The main thing is that you are not afraid of competing with other people, in particular, other men. Of course, in some areas there is no competition. Then it is important to compete with yourself. This could be in the gym, setting that new PR, Whatever it is, just make sure that you rack up some wins. Number five, learn to fight. The three most natural things to do for a man is to eat, to reproduce, and to fight. It does not matter who you are 
or what society has taught you, or how much you have been domesticated. Deep, deep down, every man knows that if he has no idea how to fight, he is weak. Society tries to teach our young boys that violence and fighting is bad and should not be celebrated, and that they should avoid it altogether. Now it is true that meaningless violence or unnecessary violence is indeed a bad thing. This is common sense. But remember this, if you want peace, prepare for war. If you know deep down that you have the ability to destroy any opponent in a fight, it will dramatically increase your confidence. You may never have to use it, but just knowing within yourself that very few individuals would be able to threaten you will make you feel strong, powerful, and confident. And you should absolutely combine this with lifting weights to make sure your body is strong and explosive. If you combine these five tips, I can guarantee you that with time, you will be unrecognizable as a person. Your confidence will be on another level, and people will respect you for it. That's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to leave a like and to hit that subscribe button. Thanks, brothers. I'll see you next time.